Um, so I'm gonna have a, yep. I'm gonna have a little friend today. He's just staring at me. <laughs> Can I help you? Oh. Can I help you? Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So I have a buddy today. Ooh. Gonna watch the expanse with me. Oh. I hope he likes it. I don't know if he's gonna get all this space talk. What do you think, Lou? <laughs> All right, so here I am. Listen to my dog walk around. <laughs> Go lay down, please. I love you. All right, so I'm here watching The Expanse, episode three. I'm really excited to get going on this. Everybody and their mom is telling me to keep watching and I'm so excited. Everybody and you know who's dad? My dad. My dad wants me to keep watching because guess who got him hooked too? I got him hooked and he's way beyond me. He has surpassed me by a long shot. And it's okay, you know, I, I, I need to drink it in and I, I'll have other shows that I have to watch too. So, and I have other things that I have to do, so, uh, it's just the way the cookie crumbles. So I'm really happy that he is enjoying the show. So where we left off, we left off, we're at Mars. Mars got them, got their little pod, crane game their way out of space and put them into this thing. Unlucky them. There's nothing they can do about it because they are in a little Tide Pod. <laughs> and where else are we in this? Still no girl. We don't know. The detective's doing his job. And we don't know who the hell is smuggling. Well, we don't know anything. I don't think we really answered very many questions, but that's okay. It's the very, it's, yeah, it's the very beginning of the, I gotta not reinforce that. The very beginning of the season and the series. So, you know, I'm okay with having questions, which is how it goes, right? So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and start it. But before we begin, I wanna do a shout out for the patrons, cause you guys are, man, I keep getting interrupted by my dog because you guys are pretty freaking sweet. Pretty freaking awesome. And thank you so much for being there and recommending cool ass shows. So thank you. Where are we on this? We are on episode three and I'm gonna go ahead and watch episode three. And it's called the, oh no, it's called Remember the Cant. Remember it. My name is James Holden, speaking for the five survivors of the Oh, somebody got it. Our ship was destroyed. Oh, see, everybody got it. It's a trap. <laughs> I need that shirt too now. Where's his cactus? He put it away. He gave it to that girl. Hey, maybe he gave it to that girl. Have fun. Oh, it's going back to her. Look, she's going to have the cactus. He's improved her view. <laughs> In a way. See, she does have it. <laughs> Stay calm and everything will be okay. No, not like this. Stay calm. Unte golden gonya gut. Topo tree, Stay calm. Hands. Oh. And when you talk in and before is weak. Oh, um, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I have to, I have to go. Why don't you stay at the street today, okay? It could get dangerous out there. Maybe you too. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting like butterflies in my stomach. Oh, what was that look? You must is your team leader, Miller. I don't want to hear it. It's not what I'm... Really? She's the only one you listen to. Juliet Mao. That's not important right now. Oh, no, it's important now. The scopula is the Ah, yeah, see, so yeah. Okay, he's just letting her know. Save. Well, yeah. Julie Mao was on it. Good riddance to them all. This was a favor. She's not on series, so I'll run that up the line, and then Daddy Warbucks could bother some other station chief that he thinks he owns. File the report. Close the case. Enjoy your tax-free bonus. Oh. I don't know about that. Oh. 
Do they have microchips? <laughs> uh oh. It wasn't microchipped. If we're prisoners, we have the right to legal counsel. Hey, oh. Ooh. Ooh. He got, he, what is that, like a double whammy? What was that second thing? You're gonna wake up and not be, not feel very pleasant. He's coming with us. Why? No microchip? Alex. What does that mean? Hey! Oh no. They don't, do they not know that he's not microchipped? <laughs> I don't know why I keep, I'm just gonna call it that for now. It makes no sense. They're trying to destabilize Sirius. This is a security issue. The Secretary General has to make a strong response. We don't even know that the Martians are behind this. We have the word of some ice hauler named James Holden. Mm. He was a naval officer. You saw his service record. He has no reason to lie. Sirius is our station, the key to the belt. With those resources, Mars could finally cut the cord to Earth. If you want to work mm. with Mars, this will get you one. Secretary General wants a plan of action, Admiral. And it can't be. Let's just sit and wait. Unless we have proof, that's exactly what we should be doing. The Admiral's right. Until we know more, we sit down. Ah, and poop. Wait. 50 bucks says I can beat you to the end of the concourse. Bubbles. Frank. I always just Bubbles? let you win. You need $50? I need a drink, is what I need. Have hey. you fast known? <laughs> Martians won't release any more intel, if they mm. even have any. Let's just leave the UN screaming in my ear for what I can't give them because I don't have. Mm -hmm. So for the moment, you're completely useless. Sounds like and it. Therefore, I have no excuse not to come to my house this afternoon. Forty years, you've never taken a no from me. Mm -hmm. If it makes you feel better, you're the best at rolling over. <laughs> See you later. Yeah, she is good. <laughs> That's why she's scary, but doing her job, you know. Excuse me, sir. Do you like to laugh? No. I like to laugh. Great. Now, uh, I know what you're thinking. More oh, God. Funny, but uh, we have a comedy night at the Laugh Shack once a week, and I'd love to prove you wrong. Can I put your name on the list? Maybe he should just reference uh, Book of I, Mormon. I can't do it That's tonight, pretty funny. I'd really like to check it out. Uh, how about next week? Why? Why do they have... Why do they have that? Why do they insert that? I just think it's funny that they uh, they reference Mormons rather than like either create like a new religion. I guess it's like the tie between them and now. They try to frame us. Think about it. All we need is one false confession. And I wonder who'll crack first. Nice. Shut up. They're listening. No other reason to let us talk. Good observation. Oh, and she's like, you're gone. <laughs> Five fathers, three mothers. The yeah. Eight parents, one child. Yes. On a 22-acre farm in Montana. You were a tax break? That's not the way they saw it. Did you know your true parents? They were all my true parents. Huh. Full genetic mix. And which female did you gestate? Well, Mother Elise had the whitest hips, so... Why would you destroy the Canterbury? What? For a problem in the Navy. He was assaulted a superior officer. Not technically. He ducked my punch. I broke my hand on the bulkhead. You were dishonorably discharged. He ordered me to fire on a belter ship. He was a smuggler? Who was smuggling people. You had no way of knowing that at the time. But I was right. To Saturn, get the ice. Back to Ceres. Out to Saturn, get the ice. Back to Ceres. Out to Saturn, get the ice. Back to Ceres. Out to Saturn. Stop at Phoebe, get the Phoebe. ice. Phoebe. You were stopped at Phoebe. It's a restricted station. Why did you nuke the Canterbury? How long have you known that Naomi Nagata was an OPA officer? Wait, oh really? What? Two advanced degrees in fusion drive design. You never wondered why someone of such obvious intelligence was wasting her life sealing cracks and fixing gauges on an ancient crumbling ice hauler? Naomi is not OPA. I don't believe you. 
you do now. Well, damn. He had a little bit of a mind fuck. We don't know what the hell. He was incept, incept inceptionized. <laughs> Incepted. We're going to give the vineyard next door half our gray water for eight cases of wine. Gray water into wine, wine into gray water. <laughs> this isn't the same as gray water like RV gray water, is it? This wine came from that vineyard? Mm -hmm. Oh, please uh, don't tell me I'm drinking your pee because it, it's delicious. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. They're, they're working on the foundation, so they haven't spliced our plumbing into the vineyard's hydroponics yet. Excuse us. Sure. Our operatives caught an OPA agent with Martian theft composites. No, 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 no. It can't be. Yes. We have proof. Stealth ships our first strike weapons. That's just not possible. We'll have to redeploy our fleet to show us strength. Martians wouldn't do that. I think you love them too much. Like how she just sneaks that in there real quick. I mean, all that fancy gear, the one thing they don't allow for is scratching your junk. Yeah, I get junk itch too sometimes. Uh, pretty bad, actually. What I, I, I recommend to my patients is Uvasol. It's an antifungal <laughs> cream, and the best thing about it is if you put it under your tongue, it uh, helps to relax. He doesn't need ball cream shit because he's got no balls. The Martian Navy took that away from him when he joined up. Wow. Suits are anatomically you want me to put you down again? Come on in. Try. It seems like he walks with like he's got a really good posture. You know, my posture sucks. Oh, God. Alex, you look very well treated. Yeah, well, um, I flew with the Mars Navy for 20 years before I shipped off on the camp. Mm. Uh, they let me clean up out of respect. Yeah, you see, I served and I was honorably discharged. There's a hell of a lot more than I can say about you, cowboy. They told me a lot of stuff. Made me realize I don't know a good goddamn about you. Ooh. You honestly think that Mars destroyed the Canterbury? Why would they do that? How the hell should I know? Then think about it. Who stands to gain if Earth and Mars get into a throwdown? How well do any of us really know Naomi? We're all gonna start pointing fingers at each other. These men refuse to top off our water tanks. We'll die up there without it. So die. Coman gotta die so tight. But now. Give the Martians the water! Is. We all don't know animals. Do I like this guy? You have every right. Hector. <laughs> Give him for him a lord of his team. Treat them the way they should treat us. This isn't your beat. What you want? Oh, uh, Juliet Andromeda Mal. She's a uh, OPA. And her parents want her found. She any relation to Jules Pierre Mal? I think that under that ridiculous hat, there's a belter yearning to find his mm. way home. Why is everybody hating on that hat? He likes a fedora. Come on. I answered all your questions, detective. You haven't answered any of my questions. You took a young, naive, rich girl, daddy issues, Stop. got inside her head. Stop. Other than the money, what do you care? You didn't know her. Sounds like it's a principal thing. Nah, but you did. Your educational history is quite impressive. Just creeps me out. He's talking like right there. It's like I took free tutorials and tested through. YouTube University, we'll probably, ice, huh? I deliver ice. How is the ice on Phoebe? How would I know? Phoebe's a research station off limits to Belters. Belt, 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 belt. Do you think I'm up here? God, those little fish egg things are odd. Hands where I can see them, please. And hey, what was that hand signal? Why did you leave the Canterbury? 
You and Holden are working together. Where's Naomi? What the hell is this? You join up? Wait, what? That's an option? What did you guys tell him? <laughs> to suck it. Everything. I think I even made some stuff up at the end. I can't remember. I just kept talking. <laughs> I needs to, like, just take a chill pill. They'll say anything to get in our heads. Seems like they a... told me that you faked your medical records and signed on to the can to get away from a drug dealer who wanted you dead. Well, that's true. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Are you okay? Unbelievable. I'm coming from you. Just to stop me from chasing another ship that killed the can. Why? Because you were being a reckless idiot. Yeah? Or is it because they were friends of yours? Watch your mouth. And you? No one knows anything about you, except you do whatever she says. So what was my big plan, huh? I don't know anything about anybody. I've been for five years <laughs> while all of this got set up. Sleeper agents. You ever heard of them? Well, screw you! Gosh, gosh, Ooh. You, shit. you ever heard of those? Here we go again. Call the guard. He'll take the first few bullets. Hey! Got a meat shield. Enough! I'm ready to talk, but only to your captain. Captain, we'll speak to you now. Late last night, our routine surveillance of Diplomatic Corps logged an urgent communique between Ambassador de Graff and his counterpart on Mars. Shortly thereafter, we picked up a spike in chatter between Mars High Command and nine MCRN facilities believed to manufacture stealth composites and gunships. Nine? I thought there were only six. There were more than we thought. Hmm. Bum, bum, bum. They were taking inventory. I leaked to de Graff that Mars was giving stealth tech to the OPA. They were calling to see if anything was missing. And since they had to ask, it means that they didn't give it to anyone. Hmm. And she's a good poker player. Poker player. They didn't destroy the Canterbury. Then who did? Someone who's trying to start a war. Hmm. Huh. What the frig is going on? As we speak, your face is on every screen and terminal in the system, saying, in effect, that Mars destroyed the Canterbury. You will publicly recant your statement. You guarantee the safety of my people. And I'll say whatever you want. You will put out the fire you started by telling everyone, everywhere, that Mars is innocent. That the Canterbury was destroyed through the actions of Naomi Nagata. An operative of an OPA. Oh. Are you willing to make that statement? Is he? Yeah, okay. That can't be true. Without her, I'd be dead. She saved her own life, too. No way she is, is she? Bring up the bogey. Yes, sir. That's the drive plume of a ship decelerating hard toward us. We've been tracking it inbound ever since we picked up your distress call. It's not one of ours or Earth's, and it won't answer our hails. We suspect it was sent for Naomi Nagata. What do you think now? I think I'm confused. <laughs> what? She kicks the guy's ass. Whoa. Hold it right there. What are we looking at? How come he doesn't have a hamster? Miller, you need to get your ass back down to Medina now. We got problems. Uh oh. We got skirmishes in the Rossi Burt. Rossi Burt? Come on, Gia's down there. What? Uh, she kind of needs us here, pal. Is that where the his friend is with the cactus? Return to your homes. Return to your homes. You heard her. Get the hell out of here. Go home. <laughs> oh. Well, then, yeah. Hold the no, don't tell me that's the end. Okay. At least you had the respect to stab me in the chest. You know what I love most about Mars? They still dream. Hmm. We gave up. They're an entire culture dedicated to a common goal, working together as one to turn a lifeless rock into a garden. We had a garden, and we paved it. 
They couldn't do any of that without the knowledge of centuries from Earth. My diplomatic credentials have been revoked. Ooh. I've been banned from Mars for life. Ooh. Apparently, I'm an alarmist who caused the MCRN to expose classified stealth technology hubs. Oh. We may have stopped at war. Do you remember? We were very young. A couple of us played cards at your house. Finally, one night, you demanded to play. Well, we had a few. But, uh, you were, I, I don't know, however old that is. <laughs> but we, we let you in. You didn't take any hands, but you clearly understood the fundamentals. And when the deal came to you, you called your game. Tennessee, Three Finger, Hold'em. You said, we each get five cards. You dealt them out. Then you pointed to the far end of the yard and you said, now. Whoever gets to the tree first wins. You dropped your cards and were halfway there before anyone else realized what was happening. See, here's the thing. I was terrified for you. I didn't know why. And now I do. You will do anything to win. Just like yep. your father. That's what got him killed. Oh. I won't play with you. Ever again. Oh. Oh, well, yeah. I didn't realize what she did was so devastating to him, but that's. sucks. Stay calm, okay? Take all thing when you get what you get. Come on, guys, it's over. Just, just go. He's on. trying. It's not over, Urta. It's just beginning. Oh no. Oh. Remember the cat. Are you freaking serious? Now in effect on Medina level. Unauthorized personnel will be detained or arrested on site. They're gonna leave it on that? <laughs> no, don't play the next one. Stop! What? Is he... Is he... Oh no, that was episode three. That's some answers. We got an answer. Was it Mars? I guess. Christian? Is that how you say your name? Is it Chris? Christian? There's, I mean, Jay's kind of make that sound. I think that's what her name is. She's a damn good poker player, huh? <laughs> Whoa. And I wasn't sure. Is that um, a little clear salmon egg thing? Is that? Does that like heighten his senses? Cause he would like take it and then his pupils will dilate. So obviously it heightens his, maybe if something, I mean, obviously if your eyes di pupils dilate, then you're, you know, intaking more um, visual stimuli. But if that's the case, so is that what, what, I mean, I'm, I'm guessing that's helping him in the interrogation room. He's able to read sense, read body language. I mean, it's almost to the point to where he's like, I mean, he's like telling he could like read into your past or is he just, I mean, am I, under, am I understanding that right? Maybe I'm, I'm not understanding it right. It was kind of odd. It was almost like he was just able to, I mean, was he just like throwing out guesses and seeing how people would react? Like a human lie detector test? Why would he just like come out there? I mean, I guess he would have some sort of information already uh, at hand to guess. Uh, for instance, like J Jim, James, Holden, to guess his past and then kind of see where his tells are. Is that what's happening? Am I understanding that? But I'm wondering if Christian has that. Like, is she just, I know she doesn't, I'm joking, but wow. Wow. 
She, I mean, maybe she doesn't even freaking need it. You can tell, you know already, we're, we've already kind of seen that she's willing to do a lot of things, break some rules in terms of how she administers torture. <laughs> I mean, she, I mean, she, yeah, she just straight up uh, was breaking some rules here and in, in how she treated the belter who was smuggling the stealth stuff, right? So we know she's pretty tenacious and but that was on another level to throw your friend from childhood under the bus like that i mean damn girl damn ouchies you know but i'm assuming it's for the love of her planet <laughs> and in fear of what's going to happen and what's funny is that like initially she really wanted to go gung-ho against mars right and here she is like oh guess it wasn't them good thing we didn't listen to her in the beginning huh Good thing we listened to that, uh, was he a naval officer? I don't know, some general, naval general? I don't know who that guy was. He was like, we need, we need proof. She got the proof and she lost a friend. And what is up with Jim's, Jim Holden's uh, upbringing? I mean, what did he say? Three, uh, five, eight parents, five, five females, three males and mixed, was it mixed genetics or something like that? I think they said. I don't I don't know what the hell what the hell that was about. I'm sure I will later. <laughs> the whole um interrogation room scene was a little bit weird, you know, even with Ju uh not Julie, uh Naomi. And why I'm I, I'm jumping all over the place here. I'm sorry, this is so scatterbrained. But you know, with Naomi doing her hand signal things, yeah, I don't know if I need to take like was it is that Belter sign language? <laughs> I know it's not that, but is that is it is it is that safe to say? But I feel like, do I need to like take a course, take a YouTube course on this? Because I don't know what that meant. He 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 understood it, obviously. I mean, why why wouldn't he? And why? But why are we ganging up on her? Why her? Why do these people? Why did they target her? Like, did I miss something? Did I do I need to go back and rewatch these first two episodes to like understand why are they picking on her and and trying to pit everybody against her? I mean, to be honest, if we think, I mean, who is it? I think it was James, Jim. Well, same thing. He was the one who was like, well, we don't know anything about you regarding Amos, right? So, I mean, wouldn't it be easier for Mars to, sorry about my, I broke one now. <laughs> wouldn't it be easier for Mars to pin all of them against Amos? Because, I mean, they don't really know anything about him. I don't know. I don't know that they know that, but why her? Like. And then I, did, I actually rewatched that scene where the detective, the detective Miller, I think his name is, where he zooms in on that one scene after she, after Mao, Julie Mao, is that her name? After she fends off that guy who got too fresh with her, I guess. Like he zooms, he stops and he like stops it there. Was it just, was that happenstance or was there something in there? And then he finds her Tinder date dead on the ground. And then what's up with the, the cactus man dead, impaled at the end? They're just gonna kill him off, really? He seems so nice. They're gonna build him up to just kill him? Give him a cactus, show his kindness and be like, really? I mean, is it is that demonstrating like how dog eat dog this area is, this world is? Kindness isn't, there's no room for kindness? Is that where we're where we're going here? I don't know why they are pitting everybody against Naomi. And then who is tracking them? And what's James Holden gonna do about this shit? I mean, we'll find out, but interesting. Interesting to see that Mars is like, hey man, I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> yeah, I did, I ended up taking some notes because I wanted to make sure I hit all my points. It's got to, maybe it's Venus. I guess next episode we'll find out who's chasing him, maybe. I don't know why. Why against Naomi, though? What'd she do, man? She seemed so cool. And she was like calming everybody down and putting out fires left and right, going on YouTube University, how to fix a ship. <laughs> I don't know. And that Christian, yeah, she scares me scares me <laughs> in kind of a cool way she kind of scares me i don't know to be that like sneaky and and smooth like she's like on another i don't think i've ever i can think of a character who's that 
sneaky in a show. I'm, I'm thinking maybe Game of Thrones where you're like, whoa, but I don't know. She's way too good. So, yep, going to go ahead and watch the next episode so I can talk with my dad about this now. <laughs> I really I want to make sure that he doesn't accidentally spoil me. I don't know how good he is at that stuff. I hope you enjoy this video. And if you did, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.